everybody and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and I have for you my second box from emotional well-being box this box was sent to me for review and uh, before I open that one up however I want to show you what I done with the first box that I got first of all I did the candle this was really fun guys it, it comes in like a sheet and it's like um it's got kind of this honeycomb kind of texture to it and it was two sheets of wax and you just heated it up a little bit um i heated mine up just by like holding it between my hands until it got soft and i put the wick in uh this way <laughs> um across it not lengthwise but crosswise um and rolled it up and then put the second sheet and rolled that up and made this really neat like a uh, little candle with that I have not lit, lit it yet because I wanted you guys to see it now it doesn't have any smell or anything it's just the color and um, you know the experience of, of rolling that up and making it and the texture of it and all of that it was really neat I, I really enjoyed that actually it only took a few minutes but it was really fun now I did that but I also in the beginning of this um it came with this booklet that um told you about like um the box and and doing some journaling and um i did a little bit of the journaling i made these goofy looking pom-poms to hang off of there to give a little bit of a sensory experience um, because I wanted something it, as it gets more full it, it'll look a little better and I'll probably add some other things I, I made some little tassel things and there's my stone so it won't get lost in its little organza pouch but I let me get to the first page I put my um, other um, It came with other things like like I said the thing with the stone and all of that and I put those in here um, so that to keep everything together and um, this page I just put who the, the journal belongs to me and that I started it on and I forgot to put the date <laughs> for 2021 I forget I, I needed to check the date and I forgot to and I don't remember what date I started it a couple days after I got it anyways and then the end date which I haven't ended it yet because it takes a year and it's got washi tape and stuff that I put on there just to decorate it up a little bit and the next page it said something about um, drawing like emojis and my emojis and the day I did this let me get closer I drew them on um, printer paper and colored them in with colored pencils and cut them out and glued them on so these were my emojis the day I did it and then I wrote down there on paper and glued that in so I've been particularly ill so my little puke emoji sorry and my sad emoji because being sick all the time makes you sad and I've got other sad things going on in my life so that the day I did this page was what I was feeling so it says my emojis sick and sad so under there it says i'm sick every minute of every day and that is so hard on my mental and emotional health and sad it is hard to feel happy when you are always so physically ill on top of this my dad is very ill and i am over 13 hours away so much can go wrong in 13 hours my parents live in ohio and i live in kansas city area in missouri and when I if I drive it's over 13 hours that's without a lot of stops and and things just you know a couple times the gas not yeah so anyway that's that's that um and now my dad's in the hospital on a ventilator so Whew. moving on then um they wanted you to draw your magical garden as seen through rose-colored glasses so I did kind of a zentangly kind of, let me get closer, kind of deal. So there's some kind of weird plant there with flowers. And I, I did this in a zentangle, um, different colors and different 
I mean, not exactly like this, but I liked it well enough that I drew it again. There's a butterfly, and so, anyways, there's that. And then, um, I, I went to Ohio to visit my parents before my dad took this turn. He actually, it was like the day after I left that he took this turn. So thankfully I got to see him while he was still conscious and knew who I was, thank God. And um, I didn't have all the journaling prompts with me, so instead I cut out some things out of some um, magazines that kind of went with um, things I was thinking and feeling. So there was all this stuff about find a therapist and um, anyway, a lot of words and things on that page and that page. And it says things, like I said, find a therapist, help you heal, life-changing, daily healing. It says, and then I wrote by that, one step forward, uh, one step back. Because that's kind of how it is, right? And then there's the word strong, and I said, I am strong. And knock, knock, it's self-care. And I said, it is important to practice self-care. Um, so th some things I wrote, some um, some things that it made me think of. Uh, there's one that says, calm your mind, heal your trauma. Trauma has a pow powerful impact on the nervous system. That's what this one says. Um, no compromises. It says, you have to come first now. Because, you know, I've always put everybody else first. And that meant that I put my own healing of traumas and things on the back burner for years and years and years. Well, now I can't, I can't do that. No compromising. I can't, you know, in that regard, not every regard. But I have to put my self, you know, i got to be a little selfish and put myself first sometimes. And um, then there's repair your mental and emotional health because it needs repaired. And my physical health too and then the word treatment uh, you know obviously i need to be you know in therapy and treatment which i am um and routine i need to make that part of my routine which i do and well the word well and i said i will get well meaning you know mentally emotionally if not physically right water works <laughs> it says water it's a nice put um crying can be healing and under control um, and control and this is I am in control not always but you know I need to remember that um, you know I'm in control of at least me and um, and then the word drama and I did the, like a no circle <laughs> no drama tough I am tough life is tough but so am I I said so um, then there's some more things, more words and things. These magazines had a lot of good things in them words-wise. Goals now are, it says my goals are now within reach. Um, you know, because if I'm working on myself, then, you know, the goal to get better and things, well, that's in, within my reach. Uh, reflection is the gateway to habit change. And, um, you know, feeling bad even can be a habit because you know we've been feeling bad for so long it, it can be hard to feel good and it can be scary even to feel good and make you feel guilty to feel good uh it says sunny days ahead and relief and live and you can trust but not everyone because you know but i can also trust myself and then on this side, it says, you, with all the flaws and all the life experiences and signs of damage, it's still you. That's things that I cut out and pieced together. So me, with all my emotional, mental, and physical flaws, um, it's still me. And around that, I wrote agoraphobia, PTSD, anxiety, panic, memory loss, OCD, scars, physical and mental, and emotional. Uh, pain, depression, all of that. And it's still me. Those are just all parts of me. And, you know, I've decorated the pages with, like, um, 
some washi tape and stuff because it's what I had with me at the time. And then there was a page in the magazine that said support system. So I cut those words out and I put down here some of my support system. My husband Eric, uh, my child Riley, and their husband Matt, and my son Mark, and my daughter-in-law Brandy, um, my mom and dad, my seven grandkids. Um, I didn't have my son Jonathan, I don't think it's written on here. If it is, he can be on there twice. Um, my emotional support animal, Bugatti, and my other animals as well. And my medical team, and my mental health team, and all of that. And on this side, those are not, those are animals that were, those are cats that were in the magazine, because I didn't have my kitty cats in Ohio. It says, two good dogs and four curious cats. My life and house are happy full because this word happy full is on some ad or something. So I put that in there because, you know, six animals. My house is happy full. Uh, and it says miracle rescue because that was in there. And it says guard dog. My one toothed old blind chihuahua thinks he's the guard dog. And whenever my husband tries to hug me or kiss me, the dog tries to kill him. Thank goodness he only has one tooth, right? And he's not he's not a pit bull or a German shepherd or Doberman pincher or some other big old he's just a little tiny chihuahua with one tooth and so he can't do too much damage but he thinks he's a pit bull uh it says my rescue dog and cat and then i put various pictures of cats and again they're not my cats because my cats were here and i was there um and here i have some more words and this is all about sleep and i don't do very much sleeping uh, I have some, I have sleep apnea and I also have a sleep disorder that I only sleep about 20 minutes at a time. So I don't very often ever reach room sleep and I don't sleep much, about three or four hours every 40 plus. So it says you need sleep and snooze and I wish I could sleep soundly and I always get hot when I sleep, which is one of the things that makes it hard to sleep. A good night's sleep, finally, I wish. <laughs> Um, I need more energy. It says I hardly ever sleep. I wish I could. I'm really kind of jealous of people that can sleep. And then this has some secrets inside. It says secrets inside and M for Michelle. It also got out of the magazine. And so I've got some things tucked in there like airplane tickets and some other stuff and some other journaling that I don't want anybody to see. So it's in there in that secret envelope. And this is about my congestive heart failure things that I found, including that, see that cardiovascular system there? It says heart, and it says heart failure. It says I have heart failure. I wish I had a healthier heart, near 100% blockages. Talking about that. And this is another page of things that is a little more private and I don't want to read out loud and then this is about our new house and it says our home start fresh we are better together and dream come true and after seven moves we are finally home I hope because I don't want to move anymore <laughs> too many moves in 20 years uh, but then I have some journaling on the journaling prompts and there's more than one page of journaling here that I've fastened in. Um, top things I am grateful for. Uh, the prompt called for me to write three for three minutes about the one thing that I am most grateful for but I can't narrow the list down to just one so instead here is a list of the top things I am most grateful for in no particular order but I think they are kind of in order. So not without reading the whys and things I have listed my husband and my children and my seven grandchildren and my parents and my pets and specifically Boo Kitty who is my emotional support animal Bugatti in my house and things like that in here and I am well I lost one of my pieces of washi tape 
Where was this at? I don't know. I'll just put it in there. Because it was stuck to my hand. Alright guys, so there's more things in here, but I'm they're kind of private. So, But I wanted you to see that I am working on my journal. Which brings us to the box. And so there's the, the box. Here's some pretty artwork on the box. Their boxes are pretty. And this says Valentine Studios. And so. All right. <clears throat> so this is box two. Um, and it's a year long um, subscription. So it says, welcome to emotional well-being, stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four. So this is box two in stage one. So we're still in stage one. So I'm assuming this is the color of this box. Uh, grateful survival, or graceful survival, sorry. The first one was intentional wisdom. This is graceful survival. I'm going to try to get this without tearing my sticker because I can use my sticker in my journaling if I wish. All right. Let's open this up. It says box four. Allowing goodness. I Okay. I'm thinking that possibly she is sending me like the first box in each of the stages possibly. So this says it's box four. Allowing goodness. Yep. Apparently that's what we're doing here. So there's that. So I'm going to invest in the other boxes. Allowing goodness. Welcome to you, most precious and valuable human being. In this box, you will find ideas and practices uh, for opening, inviting, and allowing more goodness into your life. You are encouraged to recognize your emotional guidance. It feels good and, uh, and attracts... Hmm? It feels good and attracts or feels bad and repels how life happens for you, not to you, and how to say yes out loud. Contained in box four is the welcome packet and... The perfect cup of chamomile lavender tea. I love cat chamomile lavender tea, and it has the um, bags here to brew it in. And lavender cam chamomile herbal tea, Egyptian chamomile and French lavender, and it's caffeine free. Doesn't that look really, really yummy? Chamomile lavender tea, if you've never tried it, is delicious. And affirmation cards to be shared and utilized personally. Hmm. Well, let's just pull the things out of the box because I'm not sure where those things are going to be underneath here. Here's the um, inside. I took the tea out, but it gives you some orangey yellow squigglies, squiggly wigglies. And here's something I assume is for sound. The box always um, has something for each of the senses. So you have your sense of taste. And I think this is your sense of like sound. Shell, wind chime, and seashell for auditory delight. Can you hear the ocean? Well, let's get it out. I'm trying to be very careful because this looks very delicate, guys. Ooh, yikes. Don't break it. Don't break it. Don't break it. Isn't that lovely? And I love the sound of it. Alright, so look how delicate and thin the shell is. I mean, we're talking razor thin. Alright, there's that. So we have taste and we have hearing. Let's see what else. We have something in a little 
package tied up with a gold bow that's elastic so we can just slip that off. I do believe this is an incense holder. She makes these by hand, guys. Out of clay. Isn't that pretty? Look, I do believe that's for holding an incense stick. And I wonder if there's incense in here. Sweet grass with ceramic incense tray. To light and burn as invitation for goodness. Isn't that pretty? I think it's beautiful. I love handmade things. Some of my favorite, very favorite things are handmade. I love that. All right, let's see. Oh my goodness, what is this? Oh, look at this shell, guys. Look at how beautiful that is. Try really hard not to drop it. The, the shell wind chime and then the seashell for auditory delight. Can you hear the ocean? Well, not really, but isn't that really pretty? It's beautiful. Love it. I love this box. Speaking of box, here is a heart-shaped box. And you could, like, paint this or... It's empty. What does it say about this? I'm not sure. I'm not finding it, but... There's that. I'm sure there's a reason for that. Oh my goodness, guys! Another beautiful seashell. Look at this. Isn't that lovely? Nope. Don't hear the ocean in that one either. Let's move the squiggly wiggly so we can try to find. There's other stuff down in here. Here would be the sweet grass. Ah, oh, it smells like sweet grass. So you can burn this. There is an ink pen. Yes, yes to all good stuff. So there's an ink pen, writing pen for journaling and self-expression. And here's the yellow candle, like like this one. Only this one's yellow, and you do it just the same. And I really enjoyed making that, as I said. We have ginger oil for empowerment. Ginger enables us to take complete responsibility for our life circumstances. It infuses a warrior-like mentality that is based on integrity, personal responsibility, and individual choice. Ginger encourages us to rise above self-judgment and helps us to see ourselves as creators and co-creators of our own lives. Suggested use. Include ar uh, aromatic and topical use only. Use roller to rub the oil on pulse points. Massage into skin with hands. Cup hands around nose, not your eyes. And inhale three times deeply and or roll onto the bottoms of your feet. Use during meditation or any time you want support. Um, my therapist actually does use um, essential oils. And we make different... Um, like little, um, like in the uh, organza bags, we sometimes will put some drops of different essential oil on cotton balls and put in there or in rice and put in them um, for a, it can help with, um, like when you're having reoccurring, you know, thoughts or whatever, it can help to bring you out of that and things like that. And there's all different reasons for using Yep, it smells like ginger for using uh, essential oils. That smells really good. 
I love the smell of ginger. It smells like Chinese food. <laughs> um, so there is that. And it says some other things. Due to your gift of the earth, the essential oils are certified pure therapeutic grade oils. They work effectively with the body's in intelligence to strengthen and heal. The oil contained in each of the emotional well-being boxes has been carefully chosen for its chemistry, properties, and ability to support the specific theme and intention of each box. So there's that. Um, here are the intention, and not what they're called. Affirmation, sorry, affirmation cards. And so there are three little, they're the color of the box theme on one side and on the other side they have something like, I am open to my very highest good manifesting. I am open to my very highest good manifesting now. And things like that. I don't want to read them all to you, but. Um, well, I don't think it'll ma matter. I embrace and allow happiness into my life, and I treat myself with yummy goodness. Yes, I do. Can't you tell? <laughs> but anyways, those are really nice. Just sort of some positive affirmation kind of things. Um, there's more stuff in here. We have yellow jasper and it is in a like satin silky bag here I'm gonna try to get it open and out so we can look at it jasper is a very pretty stone and there's two of them in here guys two pieces aren't those pretty so Yellow Jasper sports a rich golden color that exudes um, calm and amplifies self-confidence. Yellow Jasper is historically revered as a protective stone utilized as a talisman for this uh, discernment. It is ideal for grounding and centering. Yellow Jasper is worn to defect negativity from others and to ease the chronic worry and anxiety of being judged or embarrassed. Better be wearing this. And I'm not joking. I, I, I always feel judged and I'm always embarrassed and I think everybody's, you know, thinking and saying things. I always have. I've always been a very self-conscious person. The stone will deflect jealousy and make an excellent shield. Yellow Jasper supports true friendship and beneficial relationships with people of your like-mindedness. It can help you find your tribe. Yellow Jasper is a compassion stone, providing guidance, optimism, harmony, and ease in transition. Yellow is the color of joy, and yellow jasper is the stone that can help us experience a deep sensing uh, and connection to joy. Affirmation for yellow jasper. I joyfully allow myself happiness and goodness now. So that's really nice. I'm going to tie it back on here so I don't lose it. All right, so that's that. And there's still some stuff in here. What do we have? I think so. All right. Get back in there, squiggly wigglies. All right. So this says vision box kit. Welcome. Uh, this kit is a simple way to do something with your own hands to support your well-being. To do kit. So it has a bunch of sequins and shells. And on the outside of this little box, the sequins are in front of it. I can't. Let me see if I can open it and make it. On the outside of this little box, collage paint. Ah, this. I do believe this stuff is to put on here and decorate our little box. I do believe. Paint, write, or draw good things you want to have in your life. These are the 
external things like loving family and friends, fulfilling employment, a home, a vehicle, a scooter, <laughs> clothes, a hat, diamonds, whatever you desire to experience or own. So we're going to be doing a little, a little craft like thing with that stuff decorate it up and then you can like write some things that you want to achieve or attract or whatever stick it in your box um so anyways that was the vision box kit to put that together and then we have journal prompts for allowing goodness and that is the package that has all of the stuff to add to my there it is to add the next section to my journal and so it'll give us prompts and stuff for that and plus i'm thinking the paper and stuff as well so yeah so we have this that has some journal prompts on the back and then we have the papers in the color for this box including a um pattern paper boy the words were not coming and um i think there's another yep another envelope for secret stuff and different colors in this in this um theme oh look at that specialty paper can you see it it's got like um like gold like foiling on it I hope you can see it it's really pretty so, um, some of the prompts, let's see, what do compassion and understanding really mean to me? How do I define goodness in my life? What things feel good to me? Things like that. I don't want to read them all because then you don't have a reason to uh, get this box. Honestly, this box is a lot like um, the counseling I'm already doing. Um, in that I, I see a uh, private therapist, but then um, there's a group that is a journaling group um, where we do like, um, we have a, a journaling prompt and we all write on it. And so we've been part of the session writing about it and the like second half uh, talking about it, whoever wants to share, we, we talk about it and also an art uh, journaling class where we have, again, a prompt. We do some kind of art or craft um, on that prompt. And a lot of times it's, it's some kind of drawing um, or you know, artworks with some kind of medium. And um, again, we discuss, you know, like the second half, we discuss um, whoever wants to talk about their um, thoughts and feelings um, about the prompt and, and why we drew or did what we did. Um, but we also do, um, um, we listen to music, we, um, like I said, we use essential oils, we um, have packed, passed around crystals and stones. And um, so I, I know some people think that this is very new agey um, and, and you could you could say that, I guess. But honestly, it's something that I use in my current therapy with my current therapist and that that whole um, agency, um, you know, that all the therapists and things do, there's a lot of therapists there. Um, and something that's also supported and encouraged by my psychiatrist. So, um, so you might kind of think of it in you know, in terms of new age, but it also, um, you don't have to, um, be someone who's into new age things for this to work for you. You just simply have to do the journaling and all of that and use the, you know, everybody, most people like wind chimes. Most people like the smell things that smell good and Smells have a lot of um, ability to make us think, you know, remember things or um, help us to break that, like, 
intruding thought process or, or whatever, you know, this is good for anyone and everyone. So don't, don't discount it until you try it. Um, I've been doing this therapy that I'm doing for the last couple of years and um, I think it has been very, very beneficial. Riley um, and I went and saw different therapists, but we were doing the group stuff together until they decided that because we're related, we couldn't. Um, that's a whole other story. So uh, I love this. I am going to continue to get it. I'm actually going to contact um, the lady, um, forget her first name, last name's Valentine. I'm going to contact her and see about getting the boxes that I have missed in between this one and the first one and um, find out how I can do that um, so that I can fill in. For, I, I'm, I think that she's sending me for review the first box in each one of the, the four, um, what did they call them, um, phases or I think it's a phase, stage, stage. Um, so I got stage one box one now i have stage two box four which is box one of stage four but it's the four the fourth box in the you know one in the year like the fourth month anyway hopefully that's not confusing so um but i like i said i would like to have all the boxes so that i can work this from beginning to end um as intended and i think that if um if you need a little bit of emotional well-being, and we all do, this is a good box for everybody, regardless of their their beliefs or, or anything. Um, I think it's an amazing box. I am so glad, so happy. Thank you for sending this to me uh, for review. And um, I love it. And I'm going to get the whole year. And... Um, I hope you'll try it out with me. I think that you would like it a lot as well. Please guys, with that, please give me that big old thumbs up. That really helps my channel. Please um, let me know in the comments below what you think of the box. Um, let's talk about it. I think it's amazing, but that doesn't mean that you have to agree. Um, I hope you agree, but you don't have to. And, or just stop by and say hi. And please subscribe to my channel and share my videos so that other people might subscribe as well. That would really, really help me out. And thank you for watching and for listening to me babble and go on about how wonderful this, uh, this box is because it is wonderful. Absolutely. I am sold 100%. And I'll see you in a minute in another video. Because I'm doing a video marathon. Bye-bye, guys.